Hello, well I'm really excited today. I've got my shoes made and I want to know if they fit. I'm itching to know and to try them on. So what I'm going to be doing is taking the lasts out. Big question, will the lasts come out? Because these are homemade lasts, don't forget. Um, so I may have made them too wide, they may not come out. Mm. And then will the shoes fit? Because after all, I've made these looking at my own feet, taking some measurements hoping for the best. A lot of ifs there. What I want to say before I have my either success or failure with these shoes is this project, this little journey of mine on making a pair of shoes is something I've always wanted to do and it's good to set a challenge like this. I know I've made mistakes along the way um, hopefully I won't make those same mistakes on the next pair and yes I will make some more at some point. Uh, but yeah, great, great fun. It still pushed my level work in a different kind of way. So you pick up little details which I could apply now to other level working projects. Uh, some of the little things I found out along the way. So I think it's quite nice to actually test yourself with something. Anyway, let's without further ado, I'm going to try and get the lasts out. I suspect I will struggle with this a bit. But um, as if you recall, when I made these lasts, I put a big wood screw down the middle of them to join them together. Now, modern factory type lasts would have a hinge to help you extract them. I have also, as you know, put string and a couple of like drill holes into these wooden lasts. My sort of view, having made the shoes, um, at the moment on the lasts is I'm really pleased I made my own lasts because of the challenge of it. I don't think I'd overly recommend it uh, to anyone who wants to get serious on the shoes because it gives you, as I found, quite a few problems along the way, along the sole, along the top here, where I had to guess things. But um, yeah, so what I've got to do now <clears throat> is try and get them out. <laughs> this could be tricky. I'm putting a lot of pressure on this string and I fear it's going to break. So I've got some string around my last and a hole and I'm trying to get it out. I did fortunately when I made these and I hope I can get at it I put a couple of drill holes in the last so I think I may be able to shift the lever down. <coughs> Gosh it really is tight. I have a hole. If I can get it in a bit, I can get some more leverage and start to try and get it out. Gosh, it is hard. Actually, if I try knocking the shoe down, I don't know if that will help. <laughs> yep, it's coming a bit more. Get a bit nervous. I'm sort of changing the shape of the shoe as I'm trying to do this. Mind you, <laughs> it may mean it will fit. <laughs> Wiggle it, wobble it, hammer it, and get it out. But it is proving very testing. Right, I'm just not managing this. So what I'm going to try doing is putting a drill hole at the back of the shoe into the last and to try pulling the last up from that direction because clearly I'm not getting the leverage I need so it's a bit drastic. <laughs> Wiggling it seems to help. Come on. A bit more wiggling perhaps. So very nearly there now. <coughs> Yes! <laughs> Gosh, that is half of my last. The other half comes out really easily. <laughs> oh wow, that was terrible. That was too much pressure. I hope that recovers is all I can say. Well, the next question is, which is my right foot, does it fit? Let's get a quick idea. I need to put an insole in it. Yes! Gosh! Crikey! 
that that fits really well i am quite surprised gosh because i've actually got pressure where i put up the laces wow yeah it's nice in the toes <laughs> that's amazing i'll get the other one off i'll do the cover get the other one off and try that that is really encouraging i hope i can get the other one off <sighs> The other one was quite easy to get out, wasn't a problem. Mind you, my feet are a different size, that's my justification. So anyway, I've got some insoles. If I've got it into one, yeah, they fit fine. They're nicely arched insole liners there. So, got the laces on that one, I'll get the laces on the other one. The other one seems to fit really well, I've just tried it. So I'll get the laces on the other one and um, then try them both on properly. I'm really quite amazed, they feel really good. Uh, so, sorry about the messy floor, but look, fitting perfectly, not coming off or anything. They feel fine to walk in as well, because I was a bit right about my heel geometry, but actually, they are amazingly good. <laughs> so I'm just a bit staggered, to be honest. There you are. Shoes that fit, made by myself. There is something rather nice about having made shoes that you're wearing so there you are anyway ha, bit of fun eh i'll be honest i'm chuffed that it actually work out really well i hope you enjoyed the series i know i went into a lot of depth but i wanted to do a, you know go into a lot of depth really so that if someone else does want to have a go at making some shoes they can hopefully follow each of the steps i went through and um <laughs> Not perhaps make all the mistakes I made, but make a pair of shoes as well. So, a bit of fun. I'm going to have a go at some point at making some more. And I think next time round, I will use a commercial last. Um, because I want to concentrate on getting the shoe as good as I can. And I'll accept my limitation of my lasts. But, I mean, end of the day, I've got a pair of shoes that fit me really well. They feel really comfortable straight out. And um, I'm quite quite staggered to be honest so yeah <laughs> i'm proud of these i'll be honest about it they whoops can't show them now getting all excited again you see nice shoes <laughs> anyway thanks very much for watching hope you enjoyed the series and see you in the next video whatever that might be and in the meantime i'm walking around in my new shoes <laughs> bye bye then